fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. Rider of the Plains, with his faithful Indian companion Tonto, fought crime and criminals throughout the western United States. At a time when gun law ruled the range country, no one could match the quickness of his draw. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might. And the West remembers him as the greatest champion of justice the frontier ever knew. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Sagebrush! There's going to be trouble! Turn on, Silver! Away! silvered the little town of Sagebrush. The Lone Ranger and Tonto rode along the main street toward the crowded Last Chance Gambling Hall. Two shadowy figures, a man and a woman, were standing near the door. But the masked man and the Indian were more interested in the horses tethered out in front. This place looks that way, Tonto. We were told to look for two horses who looked exactly alike. Ah, them over there. And the men we want must be inside. Oh, Silver. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. Oh. Never mind the hitching post, Hunter. They'll stand. Uh, men we look for inside. They must be. Come along. Rain up, stranger. Oh, I didn't see you in the shadows. We seen you. You want something in the last chance? Yes. I'm looking for two men named Spud and Brand. One of Spud's hands said they'd be in town. Where one goes, the other goes. I'm going inside. Yeah, Bell, go ahead. Garvey most likely wants you. Have you seen them? You still here, stranger? You haven't answered my question. And I ain't going to, Savvy. Because you and your engine part ain't going inside. No? I says no. Ah. I see you wear two guns. Yeah. And you wear them strapped down. Yeah. Same as you, stranger. Ready for trouble. A man who hunts for trouble is apt to find it. Use a short draw, don't you? Yep. What kind do you use? I don't draw unless I have to. But this looks as if I might. I'm going inside. Stranger, you got to get past me first. Here's trouble. Don't be a flat letter. What the... I could have shot you before your holsters were empty. A lightning draw, and I thought I was fast. Tonto. Uh-huh. Stay out here and keep this man company. Understand? Uh-huh. Me do it. Take a hint from me, stranger. Don't go inside. If you're looking for trouble, you'll get it. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for two men. And I'm going inside. Hello, Bill. Hello, Garvey. Everything quiet downstairs? Same as usual. Creepers on out to the hitching post. 
couple of strangers out there. Strangers, eh? You mean lawmen? One's a masked hombre, and the other's an engine. Yeah. Right now, I got other things in my mind. Creepy's looking after him? <laughs> he was leading up to it when I left. Right enough. Better come over to the table. Kind of moosey around. Hey, Garvey! Come on, gents, come on. You know what to do? Leave it to me, Garvey. Hey, Garvey! Playing your hand or ain't you? Now, don't get your feathers up, boys. I was just telling Garvey our things is going downstairs. Hi, Bell. Can't complain, Brand. <laughs> okay, gents. Ain't much fun playing three-handed. Yeah, but, uh... how come you boys ain't in the big game below? Why? Well, I'll tell uh, you. Not you, Spud. Me, I'll tell her. Oh, is that way, huh? Well, Brand, guess we better do the usual. Heads you tell her, tails I do. Key rag? Key rag. <laughs> Heads, that's me. Mm, shoot. <laughs> is that the way you two boys settle your argument? Sure, Bill. Ever since we was mavericks. And it ties right in with why we don't play downstairs. Me and Spud, we've been parts for a long spell. Always worked the same outfits together, rode the same range. Hey, hey, but... hey, I won that toss. Mm, yeah, yeah. Anyways, Bell, now me and Spud, we got our own outfits, but we're still parts. Hell, see, ya. Uh, even your land's right next to each other. Yes, sir. Me and Spud, we're about the same size, same frame of mind, plays poker about the same, rides the same. <laughs> we both got trigger tempers. Yeah, which same is why we don't play downstairs. Correct. Saves wear and tear on the shooting iron. Why, if one of them card switching hombres was to cool deck us, Garvey'd have the mares all broke the smithereens before he could bulldog the pup. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't mind you boys playing up here, but uh, down there, no thanks. You better pick up your cards before they get dusty. Oh, yeah. Oh, almost forgot. Your deal won it, Spud. Yeah, Spud's deal. Yeah? You standing behind me like always, Bell? Think I'll bring you luck? <laughs> ah, he's just superstitious. Let's see, I guess it's me that opened, huh? You drew your cards. Yeah. I'll say 20 chips. Garvey, you stand? Uh, for 20, sure. Then you better count on digging some more on account of I'm raising the 10 more. In that case, I'll just pay to look. I see you. Not me. You both threw out one card. One of you must have filled. Yeah, too bad you didn't raise, Brand. I'd have given my Sunday spurs that took more dough over you. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Oh. Ace high flush, huh? <laughs> Can you top it? Not me. Three <laughs> bullets is all. Had them from the beginning. Hey, well, then I'll corral them chips. I pulled that ace in the drawer. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? Better take another squint at that ace, Brand. What do you... Hey, that's the ace of diamonds. Sure, it's a diamond flush. Yeah. And how come I got the diamond ace? I had it from the first. What? But cheating a stranger's bad enough, but cheating your best pals. Hey, you seen him, Bell? Well... Great God for no card playing skunky I'll handle this, Garvey. One hand over that stack. Are you calling me a cheat? Hand over that stack. Rand, you better watch out. Part of no part. I said, give me that stack. I'll reach for your gun. That cuts it. Draw, blame your eyes. Draw her out. Fly that gun across the table. Move. Where'd you come from? The gun. You shot the gun right out of my hand. Never mind. I'll get your gun myself. You're lucky it wasn't your hand. Now get out. I ain't getting till I settle with this sidewinder. Meaning me? Meaning you. I said, get out. Make tracks. I'll keep your gun. You got the drop on me, stranger. But I'll settle with you later. As for you, Spud, next time you cross my trail, you better keep your gun hand free, Savvy. The sooner the better. Yeah, the sooner the better. Look at him, masked man. This here's my diggings. You're Garvey, eh? I run the last chance. No masked hombre is going to come I in I don't here. like the way you run it, and I don't like you. What are you doing here in the first place? Never mind that. Spud, yeah? you're staying with me until... Uh, it's all right. That's Brad leaving now. Now, you make tracks out of here. What about my gun? When I want it returned, I'll return it. Outside. All right, mess man. Maybe you figure you're done branding me a favor, breaking up that shooting scrape. Perhaps. Well, you're wasting your breath. Brand and me have been pards, but that's water under the bridge, savvy? No man could call me a card chief. Pard or no pard. From now on, I go gunning for Brand, and the same goes for you. Well, stranger, whoever you are, you sure helped us out of a jam. Is that so? Sure, Garvey. He don't go for shooting scrapes from the last chance. I didn't get that impression from your hired man outside. Creeper? He wears his guns too well. <laughs> oh, you mustn't mind Creeper. He's always putting on. I wanted you to get downstairs to the bar. The there. answer is no, Garvey. Yeah. Your manner doesn't fool me. I can't prove it, but I'm positive you wanted those two to shoot it out. You're loco. You're calm on the surface, Garvey, but inside you're seething. You'd like nothing better than to drop me in the dust. Well, you... That tears it. A stranger giving me that kind of lip, and a masked stranger at that. There's the door. You better take it. No thanks, Garvey. Right down them steps and outside. Whoever you are, I you... I said no thanks. I'm taking no chances of getting a bullet in my back. I'll leave my own way. Here, Silver. Here, boy. And that's it, boy. 
Right under the window. You're plumb crazy, mister. You can't drop him. To the back of my horse? Watch and you'll see. Tato! Silver, him ready. We're riding, Tato. I have a feeling you'll be seeing me again, Garvey. Yeah. So I won't say goodbye. Instead, I'll make it adios. Come on, Silver! Come on, Scout! That horse? Who is he? I never figured you'd let an outlaw beat you to A the... horse named Silver and an engine part named Toto. Outlaw nothing. That pair's a lone ranger. The, the lone ranger? Sure it is. Wait. Listen. Away. We run into trouble, huh? Looks that way, Toto. I'd stake my saddle at Brandon Spud with the victims of a trick by Garvey. Ah. I came in just in time to stop a gunfight between two lifelong friends. Garvey's up to something, and we know what it is. That water. Yes, the water. Brandon Spud owned land which surrounds the only good water. Right now, it's open. But if Garvey gets control, he'll close that off. You know what that means in cattle country. That'd be plenty bad. Here, Tonto, take this gun. It's ah. Spud's gun. <clears throat> What we do now? Take that gun back to Spud. I'll return the other one to Brand. Ah. We separate here at the fork in the trail. The sooner this quarrel gets patched up, the better. And they go. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Go this way, Silver. We'll see Tato later. This way, boy. We're heading for Brand's cabin. Ranger or no ranger, I ain't giving up that water hole. You got your rifle, Creeper? Yeah. Stand still, you ornery coyotes. The sooner them two cowhands start the guns to smoking, the sooner I can step in. Time to head for, uh, for Brian's cabin first, huh, Garvey? Yeah. Fire one shot through the window. Then do likewise over to Spud's cabin. <laughs> I got you, Garvey. Pretty smart. I ain't giving them a chance to cool off, hey. silly. Come on, boy. Hey, Creeper. Yeah? Each of them is going to figure the other tried to kill him, see? But get this. Maybe the Lone Ranger's in one of them cabins right now. If you get the chance, maybe uh, one of them shots just might get the Lone Ranger. Understand? Sure, boy. <laughs> you can uh, count on it. Get up, boy. Get up there. Get up. <laughs> Pretty smart. Not only do I get them to, but maybe it's a finish of the Lone Ranger as well. I don't care who you are, Lone Ranger or no. I don't like being cheated at cards. What makes you think Spud cheated you? Well, it's hard to believe a part would pull a stunt like that. Doesn't your friendship for Spud make you believe otherwise? Huh? Would you do such a thing to him? Hey, look here, you call me a card... Easy, Brand. There's that temper again. You should know Spud better than to imagine he cheated cards. Spud's pretty hard up. Rand, I came out here to keep you from doing something you'd regret. You say it was a frame by Garvey. I can't prove it, but yes, I do. Uh, maybe so. I'd like to believe Spud. Then talk to him. Huh? You heard me, Brand. The longer you wait, the harder it's going to be. When two friends break up, it's got to be patched up fast. Understand? Well, if you put it that way... And I'll go with you. Someone's got to be around when two hotheads clash. You say so, Ranger. But he's got to apologize first, not me. Never mind that, Brand. The main thing hey, is... Hey, there's a rider. A man on a horse up there in the ridge. Look out! Oh. Did you see that? Ra ranger. He got you. He got the ranger. The lone ranger. It was Spud, that's who. Spud, that ornery sidewinder. Trying to get me and he got the ranger instead. Well, I was going over to see Spud. But this time I'm going in shooting. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Convinced that Spud had killed the Lone Ranger, Brand headed for his ex-partner's ranch. The masked man was stretched on the floor. He moved slightly and then lay still as two horsemen reined up in front of the cabin. Anton, you stay out of this. It ain't none of your affairs. Uh, me go with you. That's your lookout, then. But I aim to blast daylight in the brand. And don't you interfere, Savvy. Cabin door open. I'll give Brand a chance to draw, which is more than he gave me, the dirty coyote. Sneaking up to my cabin and trying to shoot me in the back. Come. Something wrong. Oh! Uh, that... That total the brand. Yeah. Blood. There, I told you. Brand, come over to finish me. When he come back, the ranger was here. Brand shot and hard-tailed out. Where, Bullet? What happened? Engine, I ain't got time. I'm going to take care of Brand once and for all. And I'll feed him lead for getting the ranger, too. Adios, Engine. Get up, boy. Come on, get up there. Brand, him lie on floor. Come to stay. Maybe fix him. Maybe. <laughs> That funny. That that heap funny. But not so funny a poor. Tonto him think. You thought I was dead, huh, Tonto? Me think great spirit get Lone Ranger. Not this time, old friend. That bullet did nothing but scratch my temple. Ah. Uh, we we know that now, but not a poor. You see this mark on the door? Uh-huh. The bullet hit the door first. Then it glanced off and hit me. Luckily, the force was almost spent. I was merely knocked out. You are all right now. Yes. But let's get this straight, Tonto. You were with Spud in his cabin. Ah. Uh-huh. From what you say, it's obvious that the same man who fired into this cabin went to Spud's cabin first. He fired a shot at Spud, then came over here. That's right. You say Spud came here and left at once? He's going after Brand? Ah. Uh-huh. And since Brand wasn't here when you arrived, he must have gone out while I was unconscious. Gone out to look for Spud. Not bad. The moon's gone down, Tonto. It's a dark night. I don't think they'll run into each other in the dark, but just in case... We go? We'll go after Spud and make sure he doesn't run into Brand. You're sure you can follow Spud's tracks? Ah. Come on, then. Takes two to make a fight. Brand can't do any shooting if he doesn't see Spud. And Spud can't shoot because we'll make sure he doesn't. Here, Silver. Here, boy. Quiet, Tata. Ah. He did a good job of trailing Spud, Tata. If he stays on the trail he took, he'll pass right by us. Horse to come now. Hold Scout's muzzle so he doesn't give us away. When I give the word, we'll close in. Make sure Spud doesn't go for his gun. We don't want to hurt him. Ah, me do it. Get ready. Now, Tato. Come on, Silver. What the... Is that a watch gun? Oh, that's all, Spud. You know who you think you're ambushing? Who are you? You're not tracking Brand. Not tonight. The Lone Ranger. I seen you on the floor, Brand's cabin. Never mind that. You're going back to your cabin. Miss Tilly, go them rains. I said you're going back. I'm heading for Sagebrush, and I'm shooting me a polecat by the name of Brand. But you're wrong. I won't try to argue with you, because you're so bullheaded you wouldn't listen to reason. But you're not gunning for anyone tonight. Turn your horse. Let's call them rains. You'll do nothing. You're going back to your cabin, and you're staying there with Tanner to guard you. Until I say otherwise. Turn your horse. All right, you got me. You took my gun and you got me in my cabin. But get this, I'm getting out tonight. I'm going to get Brand. It's dawn now, Spud. We won't keep you here later than this afternoon. It's all the time I need to prove you're dead wrong about Brand. I'll believe that when you prove it. And you won't. Come outside, Tonto. Uh. Make sure he stays, Tonto. Him, heap man. I've got a good idea who fired those shots. There must be tracks left on the ridge outside Brand's cabin. You go look. I'll investigate those tracks and see where they lead me. I'm certain they'll lead to the last chance in Sagebrush. Me wait here. I'll leave a broad trail. One you can follow at top speed. If anything goes wrong, come after me. Not good. And keep a close watch on Spud. He's still boiling over with that temper. Garvey, him do this. Here, Silver. Yes, Garvey's engineered the whole thing, Tutter. No doubt about that. Yep. There's no more time to talk. Remember, if anything goes wrong, come after me. Come on, Silver! You had enough to drink, Creeper? Oh, God. I said you had enough. Do you think you got the Lone Ranger, huh? Well, I don't know. I tossed a bullet at Spud's cabin and then I headed for the ridge up near Brand's place. I seen the door open and I squeezed the trigger and the guy went down. You heard someone behind you when you lit out, huh? Well, that's what gets me. 
My horse is faster than his, so I got away. Now, if it had been the Lone Ranger after me, I'd have been caught in a hurry. So, well, it must have been the Ranger I shot. Yeah, it looks that way. Harvey, I'm scared. Shut up. Well, if anybody ever figures out it was me shot the Lone Ranger, well, there wouldn't be a place in the West I could stick my face. You don't know for sure yet. Shut up. Harvey. Uh, you find out anything, Bill? Seen Bran. He came to town last night, gunning for Spud. He didn't find him, so he bunked up to Mark Crandall. Bran? I told you it wasn't the ranger after me. Bran says Spud shot the Lone Ranger. <laughs> it was you, Creeper, wasn't it? We'll get to that later. Bill. Yeah, Garvey? Bran's still hot under the collar? Worse than before. He's staying in town. Says he knows Spud will show up sometime today, and he ain't going to miss him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that senses it. It's going to work out fine. One of them's going to kill the other, sure. The one what's left ain't going to linger around these parts for long. I can take over that water hole without raising a finger. Yeah. And I'll squeeze them all as once water. I'll squeeze them dry. <laughs> Get that bell, I'll squeeze them dry. Harvey, what about me? Uh, me shooting a lone ranger. How much later are you going to figure out what I'm to do? There ain't but one thing to do, Creeper. Huh? Where's your house? Out back. I didn't use the hitching rail out front. And you better put on boots and the stirrup leather and make tracks. Oh, you can't cover it for me, huh? I ain't no fool, Creeper. Garvey's right. Soon or late, it's got to come out. And the ranger's got an engine pal. Yeah, I seen that engine. Well, I guess you're right, Garvey. I'll put distance between us right now. Just give me some cash and Sorry, I'll... Creeper. Huh? I ain't got no cash to give you. No cash? Well, you pulled in plenty at the gambling tables last night. I ain't said you? no cash, Creeper. Oh. oh. I get it. You know, I got to pull up stakes. So you're dealing me out, huh? Nobody knows you're here, Creeper. But from the sound of them hoofs, somebody's going to know it soon. You better skedaddle before you get a rope around your neck. All right, I've done your dirty work for you. Now you won't pay. I'm going, but get this, Garvey. You better go fast. That hombre's coming in. There's the back door, Creeper. I get it, Garvey. But I won't forget. <laughs> That's say the money I bill. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, looking for somebody, cowboy? I'm looking for Creeper. Where is he? What for do you... You, Lone Ranger. Oh. You, you ain't dead. Saddle! Rain up, Saddle! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Saddle! Oh. What are you doing here outside of town? Why aren't you guarding Spud? Me, Pa, failed to tell you. Him get way. What? Spud, get out of the cabin? Not right. When? How long ago? Right for sun this high. An hour, huh? He headed for town? Not right. Me see trail start, then come after you. You followed my tracks? Ah. Tallow, I just came from town. I went to the last chance cafe to get Creeper. Him fire shot? It was Creeper, all right. I found some black horse hair on the ridge. His horse is black. There was a nick in one hoof. What you do here, then? Creeper wasn't in the last chance. He'd been there before, although Garvey denied it. Found those hoof marks out and back. Creeper, come this way? I'm after him right now. I was crossing the slope when I saw you down below. Otherwise, you'd have missed me in town. Ah. Uh. this is serious. Bran's in town now. If he meets up with Spud, there's going to be a shooting. Spud, him go to town. Unless I catch Creeper and get him back to town, two partners are going to throw bullets at each other for something neither one of them did. Too late now. Perhaps it is too late, but we're still going to try. Tell to head for town. Uh. Do all in your power to prevent a clash between Spud and Bran. I'm going after Creeper. I'll bring him back if I have to drag him. And pray it isn't too late. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Away. Yeah, I came to town to settle with that back-shooting polecat brand. Where is he? He's up, Spud. Ain't Brad your pard? What's come between you? He ain't no part of mine. Not no more. Called me a card cheating skunk right to my oh, face. No, no, no. Yeah. And after that, he snuck up to my cabin and tried to drill me through the bank. All I want is a gun. Who's got a gun? Sure you ain't making a mistake about this, Spud? It's my own business, Garvey. I can see that, Spud. Here's a gun for you. Oh, thanks. It's loaded. Hey, oh, wait a minute. Oh, just a minute. Maybe you think I'm doing the wrong thing. But let me tell you this. Me and Bill was in that room when Bran started calling names. Ain't that so, Bill? Spud's doing the right thing. Brand didn't have no call to talk that away. Hey, Spud, huh? down there, look. Before in the town. Yeah, that's him. It's Brand. He's out in the middle of the street. Yeah, I'm getting back. There's going to be bullets flying. Yeah. Well, this looks like the showdown. Uh... You wait. Let go my arm. You fool. Get back, engine. Then try to stick your nose into something that ain't your affair. You do this, Garvey, you crook. You'll answer for that later, Redskin. 
Some of your crafty snore cottage and drag him out of the way. Uh, you wait, 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 get it, let go. Get it, wait, let go. Better get out of the street, Harvey. Yeah. You got the sun behind you, Spud? Yeah. Funny, you. Don't seem like I could ever bring myself to shoot Bran. Yeah, make sure you get the draw on him. I'm waiting for him to draw first. Yeah, your arm's shaking. Bran used to be my part. He's fixing to shoot you. It's you or him. Yeah. Yeah, get get back, Harvey. He'll be in shooting range in a couple of seconds. I'm going out to meet him halfway. You, you was a good part, Bran. No, we ain't pods. We're going gunning for each other. Why'd you do it, man? Why'd you call me a cheat? That's the one thing I can't swallow. This is it. I'm calling you, you yellow-livered polecat. Draw, Brand. Draw and you get what's coming to you. Reach for your guns. All right, you rascal. Don't move. Don't move, either of you. Did you see that? Shut the guns out of their hands. All right. It's a long range. Get out of this mess, man. It ain't your quarrel. You had no call to shoot the guns out of our hands. I'm making it my quarrel. Spud didn't cheat you, Brand. Garvey did it. Garvey and Bell. That's a dirty and lie. Before, Spud didn't fire that shot into your cabin, Brand. What? He didn't. Any more than you fired into his cabin. The man who did it is right behind me. All right, Creeper, start talking. Garvey. Creeper. The Ranger brought you back. Yeah, Garvey, he brought me back. And I don't mind coming back. Now I know the Lone Ranger ain't dead. Get to the point, mister. You're still trying to prove Brand I'm me. trying to stop you from being hot-headed fools. Garvey wanted your land for the water. He not only fixed those cards, he sent Creeper out to make each of you mistrust the other. If I hadn't brought Creeper back, he'd have succeeded. The Lone Ranger's got it straight. I can back up every word. Now all I ask is that you give Garvey what he deserves. Let go of me, you lick Oh, you don't get double crossing coyote. That's right, Brand. Hold on to him. I'm giving you a hand. We were partners before and we're partners again. For Keith. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>